Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you to talk to you about layers in recovery. So my first video on this was about the physical layer in recovery that I needed to deal with addressing the underlying physical mechanisms going on with CFS. And now the second layer of my recovery is boundaries. And so boundaries have been a recurring theme in my recovery. And, you know, basically I didn't know how to set boundaries before I got sick with CFS. And this is, illness has really forced me to learn how to set them and to know when to set them. And so basically I like to think about uh, boundaries and recovery like a river. And if you have this really strong chute of water with really, you know, close banks, that water's moving fast and it's focused. But let's say there's a storm and that it overflows those banks and it becomes very broad. Well, it loses its momentum. And I think that's the same way it is for us in recovery. If we do not have definition around our recovery and boundaries around it, then more than likely we don't have recovery happening. Um, so basically I just want to encourage you if you're a person like me that has a hard time setting boundaries, um, just it's an important skill to learn. It's a great skill set to have for recovery and then when you come out and you're healthy on the other side it'll really serve you. So to start off and talk about why boundaries were so hard for me to set, what I've realized is I'm somewhat of a people pleaser and I really don't like to let people down, but to the point where it can cost me in order to not let someone down. And so it's been a whole lesson in learning that, you know, I need to value myself, my time, my energy, and especially value my recovery, that I set those boundaries around it and I hold to them. And so another thing is I'm a strong helper and achiever on the Enneagram, which I've done another video on the Enneagram if you want to check that out. It's kind of a personality typing thing that's ancient. And um, basically, there are a lot of patterns in that that we want to take care so much of other people that we don't respect what we need to do for ourselves. And it's all about that, you know, airplane analogy, you put on the air mask for yourself first, so then you can help other people. Okay. Uh, I found that, you know, not having boundaries kind of helped lead me to living in an unsustainable way, which basically then when I was hit with the Epstein-Barr virus, that was a trigger for the illness. So I'm learning to set those boundaries in recovery and also when I come out of it so that I won't be living in unsustainable ways and I can make sure that my health always stays a top priority. So how to know when you need to set a boundary? Well, really our bodies let us know. There's, a, there's some signal that we get, either it's a little bit of anxiety or an uncomfortableness knowing this isn't working for me. It's really our gut, it's our intuition letting us know this is not the best thing for us. And so it's really important to honor that. And that's what I'm learning is how to honor my body signals and my emotional brain signals so that I know, you know what, I need to deal with this. I need to say no about it. And you know, one thing I learned is you can't say no and take care of the other person. You just can't do it. When you set a boundary, you're basically taking care of yourself. However, that doesn't mean we can't do it in a loving and gentle way and underscore how much we would love to be able to do whatever it is they're asking of us and explain why we can't make it. Like, you know, with the energy levels that I have and I need to really focus them into recovery. So I, I, it's good to just look into other resources on videos you can share so people can understand the situation you're in so that you build a base of knowledge for that person, whether it be your spouse, your family, you know, or friend, close friends. Because usually with CFS, everybody else is out of your life by this point. So I just found it really important to set boundaries with myself as well as others. You know, there, I love to do things. I I'm, I'm love life and I love to go do things. I was a real go-getter before I got sick. And so it was really hard for me to set boundaries with myself and tell myself no. But it was very critical for me to do that. So that meant setting limits on times that I engaged with friends or did other things that were typically my responsibility that I had to hand those off to someone else. And that was a part of t setting definition around my recovery so that my energy could go into those things like, you know, that I needed to do every day. So if you're like me and you are a kind of person that it's hard to say no, you don't want to let people down to the extent that you actually uh, 
or working against yourself, I just want to encourage you that setting boundaries is a lot like building a muscle. And so just take practice with it and you'll get better and better at it. Because I know I have. I'm pretty much amazed. You know, I think I'm a little bit of a badass now and uh, in setting boundaries because I've learned I need definition not only to my recovery, but the rest of my life. So this is something that, um, you know, as I come out of the illness, because right now I have a lot more energy than I used to. However, I still need to channel my energy into my recovery, which means the rest of my life, you know, has other limits on it. And so I need to respect those limits so that my energy can go into that shoot of water so that I have a focused and directed recovery. So anyway, I hope that helps. And just, you know, to review, uh, the first layer that I had was um, the physical. The second is boundaries. And the next video, I'll be talking about emotional work that I did in recovery. And then the fourth one is brain retraining, one of my favorites. And um, so anyway, I hope you'll have a chance to check out the first video if you didn't. And look forward to seeing you in the next one. So take care. And remember, life's not over. It's starting again. Thank you.